If you don't have VirtualBox installed, visit virtualbox.org and go to the download section. Then choose your platform accordingly. The installation package for different distributions of Linux are available. Similarly, packages for Windows and Mac OS are also available. Once downloaded, follow the usual installation process of your system. I am skipping this part as I have already installed VirtualBox in my system. Second step is to download Ubuntu ISO from ubuntu.com. Go to the download section and choose your ISO file to download. Once downloaded, go to the start menu and start VirtualBox application. Click on new and add a suitable name. You can choose another installation folder or keep the default one. I am keeping the default one here. Then select the ISO file that was recently downloaded. Once you choose that, other options like type and version will be detected automatically by VirtualBox. Change the username and password. I am keeping a simple one as this is just for the demo purpose. Usually you can keep the host name as it is. But if you have used some special characters other than hyphen and dot, then you will have to change it accordingly. Nothing to change on the domain name, you can click on next. Here comes the important part, choose how much RAM you want to allocate to your virtual installation of Ubuntu. I have 16 GB RAM in my main system and I am allocating 4 GB to Ubuntu. Then I am allocating 4 cores of CPU and moving forward. You can choose accordingly. Now choose how much storage you want to use. I am keeping it the default 25 GB as this is only for demo purpose and 25 GB is enough for me. Here is the summary of all the options I have chosen so far. I will click on finish button and it will start the installation. At this step, if you find that VirtualBox freezes and does not move forward, then don't worry, I have shown the possible issues and solutions at the last section of the video. Please keep watching. And also note that I am fast forwarding the installation process so that you don't have to wait. It took almost half an hour to complete the process which I am narrowing down to 5 minutes. During the installation process, you might see error messages like this one for a while. You can ignore them and be patient for a few minutes and wait for the next screen to appear. This one shows up because it is trying to load VMware graphics driver which are not actually required in our case. You may see some other similar messages like this which can be ignored. The installation wizard has started. I selected the full screen option but the Ubuntu screen is not occupying the full space. This is a common issue and don't worry about it, we will deal with this issue towards the end of the video. Choose your preferred language, I am keeping the default one that is English. Then you get the accessibility options, you can keep them as it is for now and change them later. So let's click on next again. Choose your preferred keyboard layout and if you have doubts, you can test it by typing a few letters. For internet connection, I am connected to a Wi-Fi but it is showing a wired connection because we are inside a virtual box. My recommendation is to keep it as it is. If you don't want to connect the internet while installing it, you can choose the other option. Click on install Ubuntu and click next. You can click the default section and move forward. Again, this one depends on your requirement. If you are planning to use this system for work, it's good to have third party software installed. So choose accordingly. This is just a warning for connecting the charger. I am ignoring it because I have enough battery for now. Here comes the crucial part. In a normal dual boot installation, you will have to set up the partitioning and all. But for the virtual box, you can just choose erase disk and install Ubuntu. I am skipping encryption part for now. 
now you have to create your user account that you are going to use for logging into the system i am making the computer name sorter so that it does not occupy much space in my terminal by the way if you go to the password you can actually get a free trial let me know if you are able to get the password correct choose your country correctly so that your date and time region is set up correctly it has detected my region as nepal which is correct yes the country known for the recent genji revolution and also known for the mount everest and the lord buddha everything looks fine here this will take time you can prepare your coffee while waiting i am skipping this part so you don't have to wait click on restart and wait for a few seconds to a few minutes maybe again i am fast forwarding it here now if everything goes well you will see the login screen enter your password and login and you have installed ubuntu in your system now let's talk about the full screen issue as you might have noticed i have selected the full screen mode but the ubuntu screen is not actually full screen to resolve this issue you can either do one or all of the following first step to try is to go to devices and go to the second last option that is insert guest editions cd image if you get a dialog box you can choose run or auto run option if you were able to run it successfully then reboot if you still don't get the full screen you might have to change your screen resolution go to the settings and go to display section and choose the resolution to be 1920 by 1080 or accordingly based on your host machine's resolution i hope this worked for you but if the dialog box does not appear or if nothing happens after selecting insert guest editions then start the terminal in your virtual ubuntu system and run the following command if it does not auto run itself then run the following commands then reboot now go to the screen resolution settings and try changing it if you still don't see the results if your full screen is still not working then try out the following first shut down the virtual ubuntu system then go to the settings of virtual box and then the display section increase the video memory to 128 mb for me the graphics controller vms vga worked but if it doesn't work for you you can try out other options you can also try enabling the 3d acceleration option boot after changing all these things if you still don't see any changes then go to the screen resolution section and try changing the screen resolution i hope one of these solutions worked for you if for some reason you are still not able to mount the guest editions iso then either try this set of commands or try downloading it manually by visiting this link so these are the set of commands that you can try or you can try visiting this link and selecting the current version of iso for you you can also use wget command if you don't want to visit the browser manually and by the way to check the version of your virtual box you can run the vbox manage command choose your iso accordingly and mount it and run the programs after that reboot and then try changing display resolution accordingly so this was all about full screen issue i hope at least one of the solutions worked for you now let's talk about another issue you might get that is being stuck at summary screen during the installation process if you get stuck at this screen there could be multiple reasons to get details of the issue try starting virtual box from command line with the following command one of the common issues is this one you will see this message which is about missing virtual box kernel modules to fix this run the following on your host machine's terminal then reload the virtual box kernel modules with this command to verify if it worked run this command 
if you see an output like this then the modules are installed correctly and you can try restarting your virtual box with the same command that is virtual box if the warning messages are gone congratulations you have fixed the issue but if you still see the issue try running the following command after running the above commands if the ls mode command shows you an output like this then you restart the virtual box and try again you should be successful in installing ubuntu now